welcome! In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. This is one of my favorite recipes, I love to have it. Hers are so underrated and they're really lovely poached. So if you want to see how this recipe is done, then keep on watching this video. So for these poached pears, we're going to use so many lovely ingredients. I have the pears, of course. We have orange, lemon, which we're going to use the zest and the juice of. I have star anise, also cloves, cinnamon, a vanilla pot, and sugar. And of course, our star, the wine. a vanilla pot you just need to remove the edges and then cut lengthwise. Then to remove the seeds you just take the back of your knife and scrape them carefully because you don't want to remove the bark from the pot. The pot also goes into our poaching liquid because it has a ton of flavor even without the seeds. inside the pot we can go on to the pears. So for the pears I'm going to peel them, I'm going to cut them in half and then to remove the core I'm going to use a melon scoop but you could also use a measuring uh, spoon as long as it's a metal it will remove the core with ease. I also use a small paring knife to remove the last bit of the bottom of the pear because it's quite fibrous and it's not very nice to eat. And just like I said, you could also use a metal measuring spoon to remove the core. Once the pears are ready, they go into the poaching liquid and we need to top it up with water until they are completely covered. Then we put a lid on it once it starts to boil and we take them out as soon as they become tender. This will take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes depending on how ripe your pears are. So you need to take them out as soon as a knife goes through them easily. Okay, so the pears are cooked. I have here the poaching liquid which is already cold. And what I'm going to do, because I like them to be even more purple like this, is I leave them overnight in the liquid and so it soaks up more flavor and also more color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this through a colander or sieve and then I'm going to catch all the tiny bits of flavorings that we put in there and then I'm going to leave them in the liquid overnight. Now you can also serve it as it is, it's delicious and the sauce will be delicious too but I just like to pay attention to details and this is really important to me. of the poached pears and I just want to show you how purple these are they really become so much more beautiful when you let them uh, rest overnight in the poaching liquid so it was totally worth it for me to leave them overnight and now we're going to remove them once again and we're going to reduce the poaching liquid until we have a nice sauce dense bubbles happening then it's time to stop the heat and now I'm going to remove it and let it cool down to room temperature. While this was boiling away I roasted and chopped some almonds which we're going to sprinkle on top of our dessert because yum and also we're going to make some whipped cream with mascarpone cheese so I'm just going to put it in the mixer with a bit of icing sugar and I'm going to whip it up until it's nice and fluffy and that's what we're going to serve with our pears. Get creative with the presentation. I love to have some whipped cream with mascarpone cheese at the base, then lay the pears on top and then um, just drizzle them with the sauce and sprinkle them with the almonds. recipe or 
any other recipe from the vlog, don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook and also I love to share it on my stories. Hope you like this and see you on the next one.